Hello everyone, so for today's video, we will be talking about the repeated quadratic factor still under the integration of rational functions or the partial fractions. So basically, repeated quadratic factor is similar with distinct quadratic factor. It's just that in repeated quadratic factor, its, its factor has some repeated factors. So we can use the definition of our repeated quadratic factor that if a quadratic factor ax squared plus bx plus c occurs n times as a factor of the denominator, a corresponding factor to this form is equivalent to a times 2ax plus b plus b all over ax squared plus bx plus c and then plus the repeated quadratic factor until the nth times in which our quadratic factor occurs. So now, we will be uh, having our example. We have here, evaluate integral of dx all over x times 1 plus x squared squared. So to solve this kind of problem, we have to note the repeated quadratic factors that we have here. So as you can see, we have a re repeated quadratic factor, which is 1 plus x squared uh, squared. So, so now we will be uh, treating our equation as a normal equation. So that being said, we can write this as 1 over x times 1 plus x squared and we have the squared, and then decomposing it to partial fraction, we have a over x, this one, plus our quadratic factor. So we have, since that is a quadratic factor, so we need to follow this um, partial fraction here. So our a from our factor is 1, and our b is 0. So meaning to say, uh, we need to multiply our b by 2x, and then we have the plus c all over our quadratic factor, which is 1 plus x squared. Now, for the repeated quadratic factor, we, we need to do the same. So, we have d times 2x plus e, and then our repeated factor, which is 1 plus x squared, then that is squared. Afterwards, the next process is to multiply both sides by our uh, denominator. So we have multiplied it by x times 1 plus x squared, and we have the squared. Afterwards, we can cancel some terms, so we, we only have 1 left here. And then for this fraction, we have a times 1 plus x squared squared, since x can be canceled from here. Now for the second fraction, we have b times 2x times x times 1 plus x squared. Then we have our C, which is multiplied by X and 1 plus X squared. Then for our D, we have D times 2X times X. And for our E, we have E times X. Afterwards, we can uh, simplify this one, simplify our equation by uh, expanding our binomials and doing some distributive property. So we have a times 1 plus 2x squared plus x to the fourth plus this one, 2x times x times b, so we have b times 2x squared plus we have 2bx to the fourth. 
Now for our C, C times X, we have CX plus X times X squared, we have X cubed times C, so we have C X cubed. And for our D, we have 2DX and X squared, so we have X squared plus E X. Afterwards, we will be distributing our A so that we, uh, our equation will be all set. So we have A plus 2A X squared plus A X to the fourth So x to the fourth plus our 2bx squared, just copying the rest of our uh, terms. So we have 2bx to the fourth plus cx plus cx cubed plus our 2dx squared plus ex. So afterwards, after we get our equation, we can now find the coefficients uh, of our exponents to find the value of our a, b, c, d, and e. So for that, uh, we have the highest exponent here is x to the fourth. So we'll find the coefficient of our x to the fourth. So from, our, from the left side of our equation, there's no x to the fourth, so you can just put zero there. And then for this one, we have the a, and then we have the 2b, so that is 2b. Afterwards, there's no other x to the fourth here. Now we'll find the coefficient of our x cubed x cubed from the left side of our equation is 0, so we have 0. And then for the left side, we have only the x, I mean the c. And then afterwards, we have the x squared. So for the coefficient of our x squared, we, we have 0 from the left side, we have 2a from the right side, plus 2b, and then plus 2d. And then we also have to find the coefficient of our x. Still 0, then we have C plus E. Then for the coefficient of our constant, we have 1 is equivalent to A. And then that's it. A is the only constant that we have here. So meaning to say A is equal to 1, C is equal to 0. So from C is equal to 0, we can already substitute that here to get our E. So meaning to say 0 is equal to 0 plus E. So meaning to say our E is also 0. Now afterwards, we can also substitute our A from, the, from our first equation. So we have 0 is equal to 1 plus 2b. Now to get the value of b, we just have to move the uh, 1 here from the to the left side of our equation. So we have negative 1 is equal to 2b. To isolate our b, we have to divide both sides by 2. So meaning to say our b is equivalent to negative 1 half. Now, after we get the value of our a and b, we can already substitute it here. So, we have 0 is equal to 2 times 1, which is the value of our a, plus 2 times negative 1 half plus 2 
times d. Now basically, if you calculate this one, if you solve for this one, the value of our d is equivalent to negative one half. So after we get the values of our uh, unknown constant numbers, we now uh, substitute it from our partial fractions here. So we have from the partial fractions that we have a is 1, so we have 1 over x plus our b, which is negative 1 half times 2x plus our c, which is 0, all over our quadratic factor in the other partial fraction, which is d, which is negative 1 half multiplied by 2x plus the value of our e, which is 0. And then we have to divide it with 1 plus x squared squared. So afterwards, after we uh, substitute our um, unknown constant numbers, we can already integrate this one. So after we substitute the values that we have for the uh, for our a, b, c, and d, and e, we will now integrate this one. So to integrate this one, you just have to change this one into integration. So we now have dx over x for this one. Uh, since negative one half is constant, so we can put that outside. So we have negative one half. Then we have the integral of two x dx all over one plus x squared and zero over our quadratic factor that is still zero. So uh, there's no need to write this one. And for this one, we also have the same. We have negative one half. And then the integral of 2x dx all over our quadratic factor, which is 1 plus x squared squared. And since our e is also 0, so, so there's no need to write it down. Afterwards, we can already integrate this one. As we know, dx over x, that is ln of x. And then for this one, if we let our denominator as our u, 1 plus x squared, our du is equivalent to 2x dx. So as you can see, we have 2x dx from here, and our u is also the same. So meaning to say, we can have this as du over u, which is equivalent to negative 1 half of ln of 1 plus x squared. Now for this uh, for, for this fraction, for this integrand now, if we let our u as equivalent to 1 plus x squared as well, and then our derivative is also 2x dx. But as you can see, this can't be uh, this can't be formed into logarithm since uh, this has an exponent of 2. So basically, you can use a power formula for this one. So we have negative 1 half integral of u raised to negative 2 since we are moving this to the, to the numerator and then we have the du. Afterwards, we now have ln x minus 1 half ln of 1 plus x squared minus the integral of our u raised to negative 2. So by power formula, we have um, u raised to negative 1 all over negative 1. Then we have the plus c. So afterwards, we need to replace our u to its original value, which is 1 plus x squared. So replacing that one, we have ln x minus 1 half ln of 1 plus x squared and negative 1 half times negative 1 that 
is positive. So we have one half. Uh, we have our u, which is equivalent to one plus x squared raised to negative one plus c. And also, we can also change this one since the exponent of this is in negative sign. So we can just change this one into the denominator. So we have 1 over 2 times 1 plus x squared. So this is now our final answer. So I hope you learned something from our from our discussion for this video and I will be pasting here the um, much clearer uh, result or much clearer solution for our problem. So we have here this one. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this one and I hope you learned something from this. And thank you so much. See you on the next video. Please don't forget to like our video and subscribe. Thank you so much. Goodbye.